All right, so what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra this week? What's going on with you guys? Okay, I was trying to do your readings uh, before, but I was having a hard time for whatever reason, technical difficulties. But there was a general theme and that was about having too much going on at the same time, not focusing, you know, you're just kind of scattered, a lot of different energies everywhere, kind of like have your hands in, in everything. Um, but there was also some something about maybe a certain, I don't know, something about a, um, I was almost getting some, uh, thanks a lot, Dexter. Hang on, sorry. Sorry about that. So what I was kind of getting is something about cosmetic surgery. All right, let's see what comes out. Let's see if there's anything different. All right, but like I said, technical difficulties about these readings. They were just uh, having too many issues. All right, four of wands. Very nice, very nice. Okay, all right, Libra. All right, Libra, start not good, start not good. Ten of Cups. Wow. I like it. I like it. Oh, and that is the... That's the Fool. Wow. Okay. Let me get a little bit more because I don't want to get too excited. Ah, and that's your motto. Not getting too excited. Not letting somebody see you sweat. Not letting somebody see that you're too overly excited. Kind of keeping your emotions calm, cool. You don't want people to see that you're upset. You don't want people to see that you're crying. You don't want people to see that you're, you know, unhappy, dissatisfied. You don't want people to see that you're too excited. You're very, very calm. That's what I'm getting. But this is something like inside you're like really, really excited. So at least that's how I'm feeling. Let's get some more information on this. And it's got the fool here. Again, I'm not trying to get too excited. <laughs> I like it though. I like it. Oh, it's like you already know. High Priestess, look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's interesting. Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, High Priestess, King of Wands. And then now at the bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot. I don't know why this High Priestess looks sad. I don't know why I'm feeling that. This is amazing. Why? So somebody has worked so hard. Oh, somebody has something that they want to share with another person. And they're sad. Well, somebody has a lot going on for them. They're very, somebody's, okay, somebody doesn't feel complete. Even though they are complete. They have everything that they want. This is such an interesting, it's like, it's beautiful, it's exciting. I almost want to cry. What is going on? These are incredible cards. What is this? Uh, I just picked this up and it was the King of Pentacles in reverse. What is this feeling? I'm just I'm just going to clarify with this deck and then I'm going to get jump back into this because this is incredible, but I, I don't know what this feeling is. Somebody's feeling something. No. Okay. Look at that. What is this feeling? And why does she look like that? And even the king looks a little bit eh, but it's it's amazing. 
All right. So here, let's, let's, let's look at it this way, okay? Somebody probably has everything. They're happy. They've worked hard for everything. Now, something is missing from their life, and they're just kind of like sad about it. You know, it's like the, it, nothing's complete. Well, you know, I hate to sound like this, you know, but, you know, sometimes it's just like it, it doesn't ever seem to be perfect, does it? Um, and somebody probably wants everything to be perfect. They want everything perfect. Of course, we all do. But I think the big thing here is about being grateful. I'm not saying that you're not grateful. How can I say this? I'm just going to say somebody just said that, you know, they are either single. That's what it is. Somebody's ready. Somebody has everything. They're complete. They're happy. They have a lot to be proud of. They're just, they're missing their king, okay? Or queen, they're missing their partner, their other half. I said king because there's a king of wands here, okay? Now, you also have somebody here that has worked so hard for everything. Somebody's just, somebody's just ready. Somebody's just ready. They're like more ready than ever to have their partner, you know, to get married, to celebrate. All right. There's also somebody, yeah. And that's part of it. I feel like somebody, okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to say it like this. So you got the, the Knight of Swords, you got the, you know, with the clarified the the fool with the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck here you have the knight of cups okay this is very interesting and i mean it's it's actually good i mean it's good it's not bad it's actually really really beautiful somebody feels like they have a lot of success everywhere there everything is going very well for them but there's like something, there could be a couple of places where there's maybe a couple burned bridges or something just isn't very fulfilling. And maybe they're feeling like they couldn't, mm, that could be it too. Somebody maybe feels like they're unable to fulfill something because they have something negative going on in another aspect of their life or something, you know, just doesn't, isn't working. You know, you could be, have, you know, be on the outs with, you know, an ex or something like that. You know, maybe you broke up, at, you know, a long time ago and things didn't kind of like, you never got to say the things that you wanted to say and the things could have been eating at you for a long time and you feel like there's a gap in your life because something is missing or because you haven't made, you haven't like fully spoken your piece or made clarity with it or made clarity with it. I think you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You're smart, Libra. I think you know what I'm saying. Um, now, you know, it could be like that or, you know, four of wands, it could even be something as far as like family or somebody close to you. Fours are very much, you know, like immediate family. So there could be, you know, you could be on the outs with somebody that's, you know, maybe something bothers you about your immediate family. You know, everything is perfect except I can't get along with this person, you know, or, you know, this friend or this relative or something like that or something just is imperfect in this perfect life and somebody wants everything to be perfect okay now here's the thing what i'm kind of getting is you know i'm getting chills don't be too hasty don't be too hasty you know somebody could be trying to like you know what i'm just going to get you know there's nothing wrong with that if if you just be like you know what, let me just throw this out there let me just throw out a bone and just see what happens it's very very possible that somebody's going to be taking that step okay because somebody wants everything they don't it's like they don't want it it's it's almost, somebody's like preparing it's like somebody's like preparing for the rest of their life <laughs> and they just want they don't want any they want any burned bridges rebuilt they don't want that okay <sighs> that's been bothering someone you're very successful you know if not, you're going to be. Now, a lot of times, now, let, let me just put it this way. Tarot, I know that when we watch it in real time, we think that it's actually happening right now. But a lot of times, tarot, it takes a little time to manifest. So this could probably be within the next, you know, few months or so. Okay. So generally, I like to say generally within three to six months. 
okay, that this could actually manifest. So if you're not in something right now, you're going to be, you're heading towards, you know, whoever this person is, this match, okay? There is an opportunity to meet someone. This person is definitely a fire sign, okay? This person definitely can hold their own. Now, I don't know that you're really, really attracted to this person for whatever reason. I don't know why fire signs are like, you know, they're they're kind of like, you know, and you guys are very well matched. I mean, this could be a Sagittarius. Um, I don't feel like it's a Leo. It could be either an Aries or a Sagittarius, okay? That's kind of the energy that I'm getting from this um, with this King of Wands, all right? So that could be definitely something that's coming up very, very soon. Now, as far as... Yeah, I say everything is so perfect, but I just feel this sadness. What does Libra need to do? Six of Cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you say she's reaching you know let's say there's you know two people here you know that are celebrating they're having a good time they're they're you know whatever this person might feel a little bit odd they might feel a little cast out they might feel like you know i keep getting something about a burn bridge okay so somebody may be wanting to repair that so let's say there's people that are on the outs. Somebody actually kind of wants to kind of come back into the circle or, you know, however that is. Or maybe somebody wants to bring somebody back into the circle. In this picture, it looks like whoever this person is, this odd person out, look, wants to come back into the circle. That's what that looks like to me. Excuse me. Something in my eye. Somebody not seeing something properly. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And you got the page of wands here. Okay, Libra, here's what I'm getting. Look. This is it. You're not gonna, you may not like this. You're going to have to be vulnerable. You're going to have to go out of your comfort zone. If you want to repair something with someone, you know, some people are more emotional than others. You might be a very emotional person and this person not. You might have to kind of come. It's coming across the way that you don't normally come across. Okay. So let's say you are much more. Let's say you don't like. To, uh, I was saying that in the beginning. Let's say you don't like to show your emotions. You don't like to show excitement. You don't like to show sorrow, grief. You keep it in. You don't want people to see that because you want somebody to see. You want everyone to see you as perfect and having everything together. That's, that's a lie. Okay. Humans have different emotions. Okay. I understand to a certain degree, but you know, there are times when being vulnerable is okay. I don't agree with it completely all the time. Yes, I do. I, I agree. I'm with you with that. However, what I'm getting with whatever the situation is, you're going to need to be vulnerable. You know, you might like to not show your emotions in this situation, you know, Let's say somebody's never ever seen you cry. Let's say somebody's never ever seen you show any kind of emotions other than, you know, you know, let's say no one's ever seen you speak deep, heart to heart, what's in your soul, you know, that's what I'm getting with whatever this is. That's the way that you're going to have to come across to with whoever this is that you probably want to repair something with. Your ordinary way of doing things, you might be like, almost like not like kind of skating over something or not addressing it or talking about it, just kind of like hoping somebody gets the hint by your energy or whatever it is, or showing that you don't care about something. So you're kind of like moving on and we're focusing on this, you know. So let's say ordinarily you would want to, you know, if you want to kind of get back with, you know, a certain person, whoever the person is, depending, you know, the type of relationship, friend, family, lover, ex-lover, you know, colleague, co-worker, whatever the dynamic, nurse, practitioner, I don't know, <laughs> whatever the dynamic, you might, your normal case, case of business, your normal way of doing things might be, 
I'm going to send this person an invite and just let them, you know, you know, let them decide whether they want to come or not. It's not the right way to do it. You know, somebody just gets like an invite in the mail or, you know, if somebody says, hey, I, I just wanted to see if you wanted to come, you know, blah, 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 or whatever. Skating over it that way is not the right way to do it. Okay. Somebody may actually have the intentions of when they, when the person comes there, then they're like, if I need to be vulnerable, I will. I, that's not going to work. I, that's what I'm getting with whatever this is. In order to get this person's attention, you're going to have to be vulnerable right up front. You know, rather than saying, hey, you want to come? And then dealing with it, you know, then you have other people around you or whatever that is. It's a little, it's, it just, it's almost like somebody's utilizing that as almost like a power play because they still don't want to be vulnerable. No, that's not the way. It's not going to be the way to do it. Your best bet is to not even, you know, mess with it and just kind of go on about your life. All right. Somebody is going to want to know, you know, how you truly feel. They may actually want to kind of like talk about something or analyze something, you know, maybe talk about feelings, you know, how you felt and how they felt. That's what I'm getting. But just being this page of wands about it is not going to. That could be your normal way of doing it. You can't do it that way anymore. No, at least not in this situation, you can't. All right. I hope that makes sense. I think that's it. That's it. If you're feeling a certain way, don't carry that the rest of your life. If you want to make peace or whatever, then, you know, go ahead and do it, you know. However you do it is, is your way and it's fine, you know. But every action that we take is our karma. So that's what I'm getting in reference to that situation. All right. If not, then just through the normal course of time, if you don't want to mess with it, then don't, you know. Let that person go, you know. You can do that too. You have so, so many different options about the way to play this. What's being suggested is the way that I said. That's what's being suggested, okay? But however it is that you handle it, it is your karma, okay? There's always going to be a recourse. There's always going to be something, you know, with whatever action that you take, okay? However, um, as far as if you decide not to do anything and let things go, that'll work too. You don't have to, you know, through the normal course of human evolution or human, you know, why do I, why, why I want to, why do I want to say repair, uh, repairing something, somebody wants to repair something through the normal course of healing, you know, that could take years. I mean, at least for me, I've known it takes years, you know, certain things, certain things, not everything. Some things take, you know, a little, little bit of time, you know, depending on how deep the scarring is. But it's going to just take longer. You'll get through it. It's just going to take a lot longer. And you might win it like this. You know, the only way to take care of it like this and get your answer is to kind of do it. Whatever. All right. I hope that made sense. All right, Libra. Good luck. Um, like, comment, share, follow. And um, yeah, like, comment, share, follow. Hit the notification bell. Um, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to book a private reading, you can DM me. At, if you want to book a private reading, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so kind of tongue tied today. If you want to book a private reading, email become the start 1111 at gmail.com or um, you can DM me through Instagram, become the star. All one word, all lowercase. I don't reach out to people for readings, you have to reach out to me. That's the way, that's the way, with, that's the way I do it. I don't know why I'm so tongue tied today. Anyway. <laughs> If you are trying to do something in order to calculate, to say something perfectly, you're going to end up being tongue-tied or you could be very nervous. So don't play it cool. Be authentic. Don't rehearse. Be real. Be authentic. Okay? I think that's why I kept stumbling over my words just now. All right. All right, Libra.